Hi! Welcome to Surviving Schizophrenia with Stephen. My name is Stephen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, a couple days ago, I was not feeling well. I was very stressed out and anxious, and I felt like a rubber band about to snap. And that was horrible. So, I recorded a video talking about that and explaining how I felt at the time, right when it was going on. And I posted that video later that night, and I got such an amazing response. I don't want to talk about how I feel, which is better now, I want to talk about that today. And I also want to thank you, everyone that commented, liked, or even just watched that video. It means so much to me. And at the end, I want to show a little video that I recorded shortly after my video went live where I, I got a little emotional, uh, still am, as you can probably tell right now, and I just wanted to show that video at the end to show my gratitude to all of you, especially because that was about 20 minutes after I posted the video when I shot that. Now, today I am doing much better. I was able to relax afterwards, and as you can see now, I am out in nature. Now, it's still kind of cold here in Southern California. When I say cold, I mean cold for us. It's not cold for you, probably, if you're outside of the state. For us, this is cold. Uh, maybe, what, 50 degrees or so? Maybe 60? To us, that's very cold. Um, but yeah, it feels good to be out. Again, it was raining a bit recently, so I haven't been able to get out as much. But it feels really good to be out in nature again. And it helps to get some fresh air to kind of calm yourself down and relax. I also, after that video, after I was trying to yeah, relax, I watched some TV, specifically Andor, which is a really good show. Absolutely love it, Star Wars. And that helped a lot as well. I also played some games and just tried to take it easy. And I do feel way better today, as you can probably tell from my demeanor. I am not that stressed right now. And again, it helped a lot to have the, all your support. Because support is important. Especially, anyone needs support, right? But especially if you have a mental illness. Having a good support group or system is incredibly important, I think. And I do have a good support system. With my family, specifically my parents and, well, even my extended family. You know, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, that kind of thing. But, and this... I didn't really fully realize this until I posted my last video, but one of my biggest support systems, I guess, you could say, is all of you. I was not anticipating that kind of response to my last video. At all. And it's absolutely amazing. It means so much to me that that many of you out there care that much about me and my well-being and my health. That is just incredible, and I, I don't know, I have no other words to describe how amazing that is, and how amazing that feels for me. Yeah. And another person I should mention that is very supportive of me is my therapist. Of course, she has helped so much over the last, you know, she's been here with us for like 10 years now, like pretty much since the beginning. So I want to thank you too, you know, you are incredibly valuable to me and my family and supportive of us. And of course, the other thing that helps when you're feeling stressed out, for me at least, right, because uh, when I am stressed out, sometimes I do need some medication to lower my heart rate or just take some of the stress away. And I did take 10 milligrams of propranol, propranol, sorry, hard to say sometimes. Um, that helped lower my heart rate, and that helped also just calm me down and relax me. So that's always helpful to have for me. If I really need it, I can take some Propanol or some Ativan. Yes, it was Ativan that I can also take, and that helps a lot too. That one just takes the edge off and really relaxes me. Uh, even faster, I think, than Propanol, but the Propanol is also more for your heart rate. And for me at least, and I think really would go for most anyone else, when feeling stressed, 
one of the best things to do is talk to someone about it. And by talking to someone, they can help figure out how to help you then. Right? So I talk to my dad often about stuff like this. And he helps me talk it through and then do something about it as well. So whatever that is for you, your coping strategies will vary. For me, it happens to be video games and TV, sometimes books and sometimes drawing. But I think when you do feel that stress, you know, talk to someone and then go and do something that relaxes you. Maybe that's watching TV. Maybe that's I don't know, doing art as well. Whatever works for you. It could be going out into nature and going for a walk. You, know, you got to find what works for you. Because when you're stressed out, the worst thing you can do is to stay stressed and not do anything about it. Because that's how stress just builds up and builds up. And then at a certain point, you can't contain it. And that's not good. And so thanks to all of you. And like I said earlier, support my last video. The rubber band for me, where I was at, which was like that, <laughs> has shrunk down to my average normal size. Uh, so I just want to say thank you again to all of you out there who are supportive of me. Whether you liked or commented or just watched that video, or all of my videos in general, it means so much to me to have you all here supporting me on my journey surviving schizophrenia. And with that, I want to show you the video. Well, after I will say bye, Chris, but I want to show you the video I recorded that night after I uploaded that video. And I think you'll enjoy seeing it. I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. All right, so I literally just released a video where I said I'm feeling stressed now. And I am still feeling stressed now, but I, I just want to record a little video right now. I posted this video 20 minutes ago, and I have received so many heartful and um, amazing comments. Heartful, I don't know if that's the right word, but absolutely incredibly kind comments already from you, my subscribers, people that watch the video. I... I, I didn't, I, I didn't expect that to happen necessarily like that. And I just want to say thank you. Oh man, <laughs> uh, I, I, it helps a lot knowing that you all out there care that much about me. That's just incredible. And I want to say thank you always to everyone who has already commented on that video. I say thank you so much. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's emotional for me in the best possible way. And I just wanted to record a little bit here. I don't know if I ever can post this, but just to thank you because it means so much to me. Thank you.